Guys, I have been enjoying LEGO Fortnite. I've been streaming it a lot and it's literally the only thing I'm playing currently. Welcome to my pub slash bar, I guess. Uh, we even got Spark Plug here. I mean, we had Spark Plug here. Uh, this is my bar. Do you like it? A nice little vibe going on here. But anyway, yes, I have been enjoying LEGO Fortnite. But what I'm hearing a lot is, how do you get not wood? How do you get marble? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new game because some of this stuff is quite early game and I think this will help to some people. So let's do that. So we spawn into a new game. Sorry, gold team leader, but we've got this from here. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna get granite and a lot of wood early start. And helpfully, there's a lot of wood already on the floor. Easy, easy, easy. And some food, you need some food. You will eventually need food. Oh my God, we've already spawned next to a cave. This is very helpful. But have we spawned next to biomes? Okay, we are actually quite close to biomes here. We've got the dry lands over there and the snow biome over there. This is actually not a bad sport because the idea of the game early is to get a village on the grasslands and to level that up because you need to take it grass, desert, snow. That's how I think it's meant to be played anyway. So we will get a campfire. Okay, here, here is pretty good. It's pretty flat as well. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is build a shack. I need some more wood. All right, then we've got a bed. See, the more things you do, the more recipes you get. So most of the early stuff, you do need a lot of granite and a lot of wood. So most of the granite is obviously found in the grasslands and these little rocks here. They're quite easy to pick up, to be fair. You don't even need an ax. So they're also granite, but you need an ax to be able to farm those. But most of the granite can really actually be found on the floor, as you can see. So let's place a bed and then a crafting table. That's our next portal. Cool. It's to craft a pickaxe and a forest axe. Obviously, you need some wood for the pickaxe. After building the crafting table, I'm going to build a lumber mill that will give you the ability to make wooden planks and wooden rods. But first, we're going to make our lives a little bit easier by crafting a torch. For that, you need wood and some vines. So from bushes, you can actually get vines and wood killing two birds with one stone or a bush. Like a campfire, a torch will keep you warm if you hold it out. Always use a torch if you just put it to your offhand. Ah, oh, and um, these guys are butterflies. If you follow them, they'll take you to a loot llama uh, or a chest, or I have seen both, a llama and chest. Oh guys, these are sheep. If you pet a sheep, you will get wool out of it. So if you pet a cow, you get milk, you get a milk carton. I know, not very um, biology correct, but yeah, it works. So what do we get from there? We've got an arrow, so we've got wool, shells are going to be important, and we've got some seeds as well. They're very important. But I finally decided to build that village square, allowing me to create my village. So the more you level up the village, the more recipes you get, and the more recipes you get, the better your pub's going to look. So every time you level up a village, you need certain materials. The higher the level, the more difficult it is to attain the materials. As well as that, a village will have a circumference. Within that circumference, you need to build within that to increase your village level. So at the moment, the only furniture we got are beds and chests. But upgrading our village will allow us to have more stuff, where we will unlock plants and have the ability to create toilets. So to upgrade this village, we need wood and granite. Oh, here we go, here's a cow. where you get the milk from. So to get milk from them, you pet them. There you go, there's the milk. So after some farming, let's upgrade the village. Well, I'm level two. We also can get people to live at our village, which you would obviously need another bed for as well. You need to, you need to house them. Also, make sure these are covered over because obviously they're not covered. You won't be able to use it in when it's raining. Yes, we do. There you go. Now we have got two helpers. So we can already get this guy crafting some stuff. Help village, resource jobs. Let nearby resources. There we go. And then we can get wood off him and cool stuff like that. Right, to upgrade our village next, we need to make planks. Now, the lumber mill I was talking about earlier, we now desperately require it. But first, here's another tip. Pickaxes and axes come at a deficit. So don't spend them all before making another axe or pickaxe, because that is really annoying. <laughs> so before we start spending any wood or materials, make sure we've got an axe ready to go because these will of course break because if you spend all your wood and granite you would have to go and hand pit them again to be able to make the axe to go and farm them so always make yourself a spare axe or pickaxe and do that with any level of pickaxe and axe where you do get more advanced it gets a bit more difficult to keep tabs on that so this is a lumber mill with a current level we can only mill planks and wooden rods so i'm making planks to be able to upgrade the village we need planks and granite but the village's level is nowhere near. So we got to use the wood and granite to build new buildings to increase our village rating. So we're going to build a grill, which requires 30 granite. So yes, with any survival game at this stage, it really does start to become a balancing job, remembering that you need wood, granite, really in abundance, because we're about to level up the village by building all this new cool stuff, but then we're gonna have no granite and wood to actually upgrade the village, and the circle starts again. 
we can corn and cob, fried eggs, and grill. Upgrade is now available, so boom. All right, we're on level three of grasslands. What we need now is to increase our village rating by adding, I think, either characters or buildings to it, but we need not wood, and that comes from the caves. For grassland caves, so there's actually skeletons in here, so I should have probably have prepared myself a weapon. But what we are looking for is not wood, which are these. So they have a bit of a greeny moss to it. Now they're not to be confused with these ones, which is just normal wood. This is not wood. This is what you're after. But we are getting quite ahead of ourselves. We need to upgrade the bench so we can unlock the uncommon items. We need to mill wood into planks and we need grass shells. Okay, these are fun things. So you get the shells from the crabs, which I haven't actually seen yet. So let me get my sword first, because we are going to need that. And I am starving apparently, so that's good. We're going to focus on getting the knot wood, which we need to upgrade this bench. So let's go and get the shells. So let's pick ourselves this weapon up by having the rods, which will be able to make the short wood short. To be fair, though, against shells, I think pickaxes are better, but just in case we run into any, any skeletons. So sometimes you find these in chests, but let's just keep an eye open. They will look kind of like these, but round, of course. Or no, even if you're on the server on your own, I almost actually forgot myself. We can get one of these villagers to come and help us. Okay, then we're, then let's sort of jobs. Uh, let's explore. So basically, at this level, that NPC will probably eliminate the shell for you. But we're all going to need bones, so we might as well... See, look at, look at her. She's... Oh, lovely. Okay, we've got a wolf. We are going to need wolf claws. This is not currently what we're focusing on now, but we we will do it. So these are wolf claws. These will come in very handy soon. They also drop meat. Also, you can't pet the wolves. Don't try and pet the wolves. Oh, I think I just saw a skeleton there. There is a chance that we find these grass shells in these chests. Okay, we've got wool. That's important. We've got silk. And they make cords. We've got feathers. And they make arrows with wood. So that, that's not too bad. So with survival games, there's a, obviously there's a few different directions you can go. Like you could focus on getting this done, that done. One glove really doesn't fit all. So you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. Of course, play the game how you want to. All right, stairs are helpful because then we can crank some 90s. Oh, I've got milk. Interesting. We've got soil as well and some more wool, which will come in very handy. Oh, we actually have got a shell. We actually did pick up a shell. I didn't even realize that. So we've got one. We need two more. Again, we actually need three claws for something else later on. So this is actually not too bad. We are actually getting stuff done, even though it's not what we want to get done. And while we wait, let's get some granite and some wood because we're still going to need them. But unfortunately, we're about to break an axe here, so we won't go to farm trees. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, well, that, that is unfortunate. All right, so these are spiders. This is where you get silk from. We actually may try the caves because sometimes they do spawn in caves, I'm pretty sure. And I guess if we go in a cave as well, it allows the um, world to uh, maybe reset. Oh, blast powder. A little early, I think, for blast powder, but I guess it helps. Oh, we found one. Hey, these, these are them guys. Oh. Okay, she's helped me out there. All right, we need one more shell. Arsenal, you shall receive. If there's two of you attacking these guys, it kind of breaks that animation. Not if I... S yeah, okay. Yeah, we kind of broke the animation so it couldn't attack us. Okay, I think that's our three shells. Yeah, okay, let's go back to uh, back to base. So we need planks. We were, of course, farming some wood in there. So, as I remember, we've got to take these and then change your recipe. Obviously, you've got to take that or it won't change your recipe. So let's get these planks made. Okay, let's upgrade this. Upgrade it to a common bench. Or uncommon bench, sorry. There we go. So, this is the axe we need. This is the axe that will be able to farm the knot wood in the grassland caves. So, while we're here, have we got enough rods to make a short sword? No. Obviously, you've got to take that or it won't change your recipe. So let's get these planks made. Now, the NPCs that follow you around, you can give them the uncommon weapon to help you farm these things. If not, they can't rejoin really in, but regardless, they're gonna help with the skeletons. At this point with the spare planks, you've got to make yourself a couple chests to get rid of some of the stuff in your inventory that you don't need for now. Granite's useful, silk will be useful soon. But in the recent past, we actually managed to unlock a shovel. Then crafting that unlocks garden plots. You just basically aim down and dig. And every so often we should be getting soil out of this. There you go. 
So here's the garden plot. You also need fertilizer. And that comes from animals, which of course will come out the animal in some way. So we currently only got enough to place two, but we're gonna place one. So you can deposit the seeds in them. You can deposit them with multiples, or you can create multiple plots and put one in each. So I can see some fertilizer on the floor here, which will, I think, come out of any animals. Oh no, I've never seen a wolf do one at the moment. There you go. Just maybe scaring them. Ooh, ooh. No, that has not worked. But growing stuff like pepper seeds and snowberries are important. The snowberries give you the ability to go into the desert biome when it's hot and chilies when the desert biome is strangely cold. Just to make sure to fence around your garden plots because chickens can attack them and destroy them. Now we can farm ourselves the knotwood. So it's got to have a greeny moss to it. Then that is knotwood. Also, you can get your friend to help you farm, but you also have to give them the pickaxe able to do it, correct? Also, as well as the knotwood in these grassland caves, you also have the marble. You need an uncommon pickaxe to be able to farm it. A little tip here, guys. Make sure you get yourself some common wood, the normal wood that you find in normal trees, to be able to build yourself some stairs and platform to get the marble and knotwood because they're always slightly higher in the caves. But all I got my NPC here is to literally help me do that. So I can farm in peace and the NPC is attacking the skeletons defending me. Extremely helpful. Another tip, when you want to get the wood back from the stairs, make sure to use your hands and not a pickaxe or axe because it will only hit for free and it will also damage that pickaxe or axe. So we've now got enough not wood, but we obviously have to make some wooden planks and granite and of course actually upgrade the village with some new cool stuff. Also, in my travels, I happen to find some snowberries which will keep you cool in the dry lands. So make sure to grow some of them if you come across them. So time to tackle the marble. Of course, we couldn't farm the marble until we actually farmed the knotwood because we needed the knotwood to make knotwood rods. And that will give us the ability to make the pickaxe. We need to take the knotwood because we need that to make the uncommon pickaxe that we need to farm the marble. Of course, we don't need the marble to upgrade the village at the moment. So this is where you can make a choice. Whatever you think is a bigger priority, please do it. But could we do both? <laughs> So at that point, I actually decided to upgrade the village before going to get the marble. So we need to upgrade the village's levels. So let's build. So eventually, we are going to need a spinning wheel. And this is why I said earlier that wolf claws are important, so you might as well farm them. Okay, we actually need planks for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that first. Survival games, I always find, are a balancing act. There's always something you try to do, but there's always something else you end up doing, which I find really interesting. It always keeps you on the go. So obviously we've got enough now to make a spinning wheel. So I was running out of resources, so time to get some more wood and granite. No idea why I'm calling it granite. We've got fertilizer while we're here. So when you're doing your main job, always make sure to take care of the little jobs as well. So now the NPC should be able to help us. She's got done extra quickly now. And she will also attack things. So 30, 35, I think we're good. Yeah, so we've got granites and we should have the planks done now. All right, let's get some walls. Let's have a halfway wall. Is this the only halfway walls we've got at the moment? Okay, open arch. Okay. Um, and really what you want to be doing actually is to get, if you're playing with a squad, try and get them in the desert lands to make another village. Now it is hot, but what I worked out is it's only hot for a certain amount a day. Now, even if you don't have charms, you can survive. You just have to sleep during them periods, have a siesta. And that's another thing we're going to get onto, charms. Now, as well as shields, we've now got health charms. They're going to help us get more shield and hearts, and they will be pretty good. But we need shield threads. So that's why we needed a spinning wheel for health charms. We get onto that once we level up our village and get the marble. So we put some tables and chairs around the fireplace. That should go. There we go. We're ready for an upgrade. Upgrade available. There we go. Level four. Oh, let's celebrate it as well. Let's go. Okay, let's go and get some marble because that we need we need some marble but i knew we were going to the caves with the possibility of running into some grass shells we need the grass shell for the uncommon health charm to upgrade our shield and health so the main job is marble but the second job is health charms so we need silk marble and a shell you know let's go to the caves so we need a marble but we also need the shells so when it's smooth like that that's, that's granite so you want that's granite that's granite that's marble so that's the difference between granite and marble using marble will be on the walls a bit more difficult to get than granite here we go loads of marble oh we need you okay that was a horrible lag by the way i'm taking the slurp juice let me get back to the marble let me get back to the job at hand 
So we got the shell to make the health charm, but we still need to make the silk threads. And we need to make silk thread out of silk, which comes from spiders. And helpfully, on the granite rocks, if you turn over one or two, you should probably find a spider on them. And there we go. Ooh. Okay, so we've got a health charm. Nice. So, health charm. Boom, should be somewhere in here, and then you place it to your equipment. All right, so what we need to upgrade this, obviously, apart from building a few things, we need a uh, plank and not wood. Okay, that's that's pretty much it. So we just need to build things, really. So, of course, we need to get a level up, so we need wood and planks for being able to build stuff, and we need it to also level up the village, and we may have to return to the caves to get more not wood. Okay, we should now be able to upgrade this. There we go. On level five, guys. How many granite slabs? It's pretty easy because we've got a load of granite. We should have a load of granite. So to make granite slabs, you need a stone cutter, which at some point I built. In terms of leveling this up, we do not need to go to the sand biome as of yet. Okay, we do need to go back to the caves to get knocked. So cue a lot of tedious work to get this from level five to level six to even be able to have an upgrade. All right, we can upgrade the village. And a tip, just have a chest next to the village upgrader with all the stuff you need to upgrade the village. So we're finally on level six and I finally decided that we needed to travel to the dry lands to upgrade our bench to unlock rare items. Right, I feel like it'd be a lot easier if we had more charms, more health, which we need to travel to the sandlands. I feel like this is the last sort of stage of like early game which we need sand claws and sand shells, which we need to go to the dry lands. So we need to prepare for the sand lands. We need weapons. We also need to make sure that we've got stuff to keep us cool. Now, in the sand lands, it gets really hot, sort of high noon. So you can actually be in the dry lands without any sort of cool headed charm for, you know, high noon when the sun's high, it's hot. You, you sleep, you tick health, and you will regain it. Make sure you bring enough wood for a bed, but bring some snowberries, which obviously, you can pick up snowberry seeds from the snowlands, which we haven't even seen snowlands on here yet, which we know they are actually over there because we can actually physically see them from a distance. So we've got two snowberries. When we take a snowberry, that will give us two minutes of heat resistance. Now, at some point, you're going to need to have a village in the dry lands to be able to upgrade more, you know, furniture and have more recipes. So when you travel over here, you might as well place yourself a village somewhere. See, it's very, it's almost nighttime here, so it's not very hot. Okay, so this is cacti. This is flexi wood. You're gonna need that later on. You can only farm this with a rare pickaxe. Sorry, a rare axe. I keep calling axes pickaxes, I apologize. Now, it does actually get cold in the desert, so you're actually gonna need chilies, which we do have some because of the seeds we have, but you can just farm chilies when you're here. It should be pretty easy to spot. They're usually in like a collection of other plants, to be fair. See, we are cold. And then we can have two minutes of not feeling cold. There we go. There you go. Chilies. Easy. All right. So what we're looking for, we are looking for desert walls and desert sand shells. We're kind of taking him out of his animation. Yeah. There's another one actually attacking skeletons. Now I want to deal with the des de skeletons first because they've got crossbows. These guys are good. They actually have a lot of gunpowder and that comes in handy when you want to make thrusters. Oh, they, they drop gunpowder as well. Oh, my movement's going to slow down. So I feel I found where I'm going to put my village in the Sandlands. So we have enough wolf claws, we just need the shells. Okay, we need granite again. Kind of worried about the guys to our left. You know what, since we're here, early doors, let's get a bed out. We're cracked, we're actually insane in this game. So we did eventually come across a sand shell, but I died. But did I remember to place a bed? Yes, I did. Did I remember to sleep in it? No. There's no way. Oh my, oh. Even though I died to the last sand shell with everything I could have needed to actually beat it, pickaxes, sword, whatever, I actually decided to fight one without my loot because I hadn't collected it yet. 
All right, we got one. And we somehow actually won. Nat deserves a like. Two down, one to go. But I was struggling to find one, so I decided to farm some loot to at least upgrade our village to a level two. But it was kind of a race against time because it had already been night time. It was now heading for high noon. But soon we would locate the last sand shell we needed. And of course, we beat them. See, here we go. Now it's getting high noon. I'm hot. And there we go. We've got heat resistance. Two minutes. But it's time to get back to the grasslands, but I couldn't remember if we got enough sand claws. So hopefully we'll come across one on the way home. Oh, I was meant to give my uh, NPC sank after the last engagement. Silly me. It's just fighting with bare hands at the moment. That's me doing five damage, her doing one. Or two. There we go, we're good. But while we're at the dry lands, it's to upgrade the bench. But we do need another couple of sand shells for the health charm but we do need more sand cells for the health charm as well as upgrading the bench. See, it's helpful when you give her a decent sword. I still don't think that's enough shells for both health charm and thingy. At some points it gets far too hot. And as I said, just bed up. If you're deep in it, just bed up and you should be fine. So yes, we've got the sand claws and we've got the sand shells, but we need to turn knotwood into knotwood rods and marble into marble slabs. And unfortunately, I did not bring enough sand shells for the health charm as well. Although it turns out we didn't have enough marble and knotwood, so we had to go back to the caves and farm them. Oh, so we just actually unlocked a juicer because we've... Uh... The juicer is actually pretty important. The juicer will allow you to make your snowberries into juices and you'll be able to last in the lava caves so much longer okay well we now have 15 of that so we have more than enough and that gives us rare pickaxes which is important to mine the cacti to give us flexi wood and we've unlocked more totems and charms that will give us more shield and more hearts which is really important to start stacking them up early also of course we got another as i said another sand shield we could have immediately have done this, but we're one short, so we need to go back to the sands for that. But as I was saying, we have just unlocked a juicer, which actually, arguably, is quite important as well. I bet you try going in the caves in the dry lands. Now, the lava caves are very, very hot, and even cold-headed charms won't be helping you there. You need a juicer to make snowberry shakes. So literally for this, you need two snowberries and milk. So of course, Go and get you some cows. And obviously, those who took biology will know if you pet, pet a cow, boom, milk carton. Now, I'm not sure you need two. I think you need two snowberries and one milk, but just in case, it's basically, yes, two snowberries. So drink to heal temporary increases heat resistance. You need these. This will give you 10 minutes in the lava caves. It is important if you want to mine bright core, blast core, obsidian, copper, ruby, all them stuff. I would say this is early game. This would give you a real good solid footing in Fortnite Lego. But guys, hit that subscribe button, like the video. It's been your boy, Mr. JOY. Till next time, bye-bye.